Hi, you're tuned in to Gospel Interviews Live. I'm Larry W. Robinson. Gospel Interviews Live features special guests for an unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed conversation about anything gospel. You never know who will drop by to join me on the broadcast. So stay tuned for an exciting conversation right here on Gospel Interviews Live with your host, Larry W. Robinson. Stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in to the conversation today. My guest is Lowell Pye. Now, let me tell you, Lowell Pye is one of them singers. When you when you get to hear him sing, it's like you're, you're studying a master class of singing. I just love to sit and, and listen to him sing because can't nobody do it like Lowell Pye. And I am extremely excited to have him on the broadcast today. Lowell Pye, welcome to the broadcast, sir. Oh, and Brother Larry, thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Now, I am serious about this. I remember uh, not long ago, we were in Baton Rouge, Louisiana together, and one of the radio stations out there was having an a anniversary yes. concert, and you were one of their guests, and I sat there in amazement. I videoed it and put it on YouTube. I know they don't like you to do that, but I said, I got to capture this moment. Wow. But that moment was amazing. You know, and I know you got new music coming. We're going to talk about it. But do me a favor. How did you get involved in music? I know you were singing with John P. Key and also Men of Standard. Now you're a solo artist. But how did you get your start? Well, I got my start, you know, in, uh, back in Detroit, Michigan, uh, coming up in, 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 the, in the, you know, Detroit with all the great artists, listening to them and uh, being mentored by them. And so we started, uh, I started singing quartet music when I was like uh, three or four years old, and I was singing with a quartet group, and I would be singing it, and standing up with them everywhere they sung, and I would go there. Uh, the name of the group was Junior, uh, the Junior Echoes, and we'd be okay. singing, and then I went to another group. And, uh, so I've been singing all my life. You know, I, that's all I've ever known, even in Pitchard Elementary School, where I really started singing. My music teacher, Donald Johnson, noticed that I could sing a little bit and started really helping me with techniques and and vocal stuff, and so I've been singing for a long time, uh, about 40 years now, man. I've been singing for a long time, so I got my start in the early 70s. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say 40 years? Yeah, man. You know, I'm 43 years old. Man. I've been singing since mm. I was like three, four years old. Wow. You don't look no 43, but Thank okay. the Lord. The Lord is good. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah. So I've been singing for a long time, Larry, and uh, God has been faithful to me, man. And just, uh, I just appreciate what he's done in my life and what he's currently doing and what he's going to do. All right. And then, of course, most people will know, you know, you um, from the John P. Key days and then the Men of Standard days. Yes, yes. And then now you're a solo artist. Do me a favor. How has God really been faithful to you? Because you've kind of been doing this full time since that time. So how has God been faithful to you through those John P. Key days, New Life? And then, of course, the, the Men of Standard days. And then now as you're progressing into a solo artist. Well, I mean, you know, he's been faithful. He's shown himself mightily in my life, man, especially when you step out on faith and just trust him. Um, and just believe in his word and, and believe in what he's telling you to do, I think, you know, um, God will just show up. And he's been faithful to me in that regard because, like I said, I haven't worked a nine-to-five job since 1996, man. Wow. And when you look at this, where we are now, that's a long time to be doing something that you love, and, you know, and be doing something that sometimes you don't get what your honorarium is or what you think you're worth. But because you have been called and you're committed to mm -hmm. the call, uh, God is faithful to you. He showed himself up and said, listen, because you're committed to it, you're never going to day without anything. I'm going to make sure that you're taken care of because you're taking care of my business. So God has been really faithful to me. That's good. Well, now the um, now let me say, I'm still stuck. I know you got a new CD coming, mm -hmm. but I'm still stuck on finally wow. uh, that first project. Because I was like, I can't wait till Lowell come out with his own CD. And then when it finally came out, I really said, by time, finally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the success you've had with that project and the testimonies that you've got as a result of putting that project into the marketplace. Well, you know, it, it's been good. You know, it's been good. I've been able to uh, really stay busy, you know, and stay uh, stay relevant and current and all that kind of good stuff. And I think people was kind of shocked and surprised because a lot of times, you know, people when people get used to you uh, singing with you know, the choir, and then you go from the choir to the group, and that's all they know. Sometimes it's taking a little adjust, they have to take the time to adjust to seeing you by yourself. But, you know, people really embraced it and embraced me. And, uh, you know, I really just, man, really just thank God for it because I was nervous because I'm comfortable on stage with Ike and Brian, you know, and so, and Michael at that time. And I was comfortable because, you know, cool, when I didn't have it, I can look to my right and, and Brian took it or whoever was, you know, was able and capable of singing whatever was going on. I was good, but when you sing it by yourself, 
Ain't nobody, ain't no looking to the left or the right. It's all on right. you. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of times people don't understand that, man. You have to have more than just runs and acrobats and all that. If you don't have anything, no substance, you know, to give anybody, you know what I'm saying? Then you be just singing runs and they'd be like, okay, that's good. You did that before. I heard that before. You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn it was more to ministry this just my, my, my vocal ability. You know what I'm saying? And so that mm-hmm. caused me, even, you know, when I was with Men Standard, but it really caused me a lot more when I was, uh, when I started singing, you know, doing my solo career. Because I know I had to have something to say because every time that voice is not there all the time. You know, and by me, mm-hmm. by myself, and can't look to nobody else but me. It was, I, the way you got to depend on the Word of God, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's been a blessing to me. And so I've learned a lot, and I just thank God for it, man. You know what? You just said a mouthful because, you know, a lot of artists and up and coming artists, they're looking, you know, we just had a new Sunday Best winner crowned. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, she's amazing. She's from Detroit area, too. Yeah, LaCarte. And, um, yeah, Tasha uh, Lockhart. But what I was going to say is, you know, many times people see the these type of uh, atmospheres on TV and they think that's all it is. Yeah. You know, just the, the vocal technique of singing. Well, you know what? But, you know what, Larry? I often tell, tell people this, man. I think. I love Sunday Best. I think it's a great venue and a great avenue for up-and-coming up, up artists. But I think before they even hit the stage, there needs to be some kind of class to let them know, listen, now just because it happened for Leandro doesn't mean it's going to happen for you like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, know, mm-hmm. you can't look at anybody else say success and say, okay, oh, wow. that's what." Because you've got to understand, you got to go to all the way when they started. How did you? How did you get here? What happened? What was you doing? What was you thinking? Well, how many no's did you get before you got a yes? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know you can't be up here just saying, "Oh man, I see Kurt, and that's all. I'm gonna just hit it, put a song out, and then I'm about to fly." No, it might not work that way for you, man. And no, and that's why I tell people you have to be committed to the call because you might not get a Stella Award the first year. You might not get a great uh, album, might not be played on radio the first uh, two or three years. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not faithful to it, you'll, you'll quit after it don't happen. You'll be disappointed. You'll be defeated. So that's why you have to be committed to the call to understand there are days that you don't get nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you've right, got to right. understand what your call is. Your call is to bring people into the kingdom. And if you do that, God takes a step of appro- approval and says, let me step his gift, let me step his ministry, and let me bless it so he'll never have to worry about anything again because of its commitment to me. That's good. That's good. Talking with Lowell Pye today. Uh, now, he has a new project coming, and I had an opportunity to listen to the single, and I love it. Thank you. It's titled Perfect. Yes. Now, tell us the powerful message behind the song, Perfect. Well, um, uh, thanks to Jojo uh, Martin, Josiah Martin, who wrote that song. Uh, you know, that song is just saying, you know what, listen, we all make mistakes. And we always use the scripture. We all have uh, sinned and come short of the glory of God, which is so true. And I think a lot of times we hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? We hold on to it and say, hey, man, look. I done done some stuff, man, and I done said some things, and I'm so, man, listen, <clears throat> nobody have a heaven or hell to put us in. God is the only judge. And the great thing is that he sees us and loves us like we're perfect, which simply means he loves us as if we never made the mistake, even though he already know we made it. So what we have to do is repent for it, don't worry about people, keep moving forward, and let God do what he's going to do in our lives. That's good. You know, I, I tell people all the time, well, let me just ask you, I say, well, what do you do about people? You know, I say, uh, sometimes we say, well, you weren't there, you weren't holding the light. But what do you do when, you know, somebody was there and they was holding the light and they're holding that over your head all the time? Well, I, I think the, 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 it, it's still the same. You know, even though if you was there and you saw it or whatever, it doesn't make a difference. You still can't put me in hell. You still can't put me in heaven. You know what I'm saying? So I don't worry about it. My thing is, hey, listen. Let's work out your own soul salvation. If it's so bad, where were you doing that? Right. <laughs> Why were you there? You know what I'm saying? And so I think that's what we have to just come to the grips of. Well, listen, whoever was there, it doesn't make a difference. They had no business being there neither. So right. move forward. Keep moving forward. And you know what, man? I think a lot of times... It it holds us back, Larry. When we when we yeah. when we when we, when we you know uh, depend on or we listen to other people. And the thing about it is, we forget that God. Listen, He lo- listen. He already told you. He said, "Listen, for I know the plans yeah. I have for you." You know what I'm saying? Plans to pros- prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and not and a future. 
He, listen, so that means he cared enough about you that he got you in mind, even though you made your mistake. That's good. Well, you know, he also says he places our sins as far as the east is from the west. And then the thing that blesses me is that, but he chooses Choose. not to remember them. <laughs> He'll, listen, and, and, and you know what? Oh, man, thank you for saying that scripture. So that simply says, why are you remembering it when the creator right. don't even remember it no more? Right, right. <laughs> why, why are you so worried about it when God said, listen, I choose. I, I he, I have a choice to either bring it up in your face if I want to, or I have a choice to say, no, I don't even want, want to remember it. I see you at, per I see the potential in you. So let's deal with the potential in you and forget about the mistake that you've made. That's good. You know what? I almost wanted to write a song. I know Helen Baylor has one, but I wanted to write a song one day uh, that talks about how God says, I choose, and then to go into the, the truth of that verse. Right, 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 right. Right. All right. Powerful, man. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Talking to Lowell Pie, the new pro. Well, what is the title? I know the single is titled Perfect. You have a title of yeah, the project title yet? Yeah, the project is called Transformed. Oh, I love yeah, it. Transformed. It's just time for us to get to a place where we understand, listen, there's nothing that we can do we're not capable of doing or we can't do or we won't do until we first renew our mind. Everything starts with our yeah. mind. You can't walk into your destiny until your mind is right. Because you know, yeah. you know how you know how people start eating right and start working out, and they start working right. out for like a week or two, and then the third week or the fourth week, whatever, they back to doing their normal things. It ain't made up in their mind yet. It got to hit your mind for you to lose weight, for you to live holy, for you to do the right things, for you to come home to your wife and be faithful to the family. It has to be in your mind, and once your mind is renewed and you don't look at the thing. Uh, the, the old thing is the same way anymore. Everything is just, man, I, I see differently now. My mind is focused on what the, my purpose is so I can walk into my destiny. So it's a strength for right. man. It's just time for us to get our hearts right, minds right, and dealing with the total man in its totality, not just the right. spiritual side, but the finance side, the health side. You know, we got to right. deal with all that stuff, and it all starts with our mind. Right, right. You know what, and, and speaking of that, um, I love the fact that you're embracing technology and um, and just giving people an inside look because a lot of times we see people on the stage, we see our favorite artists on the stage, mm -hmm. and we think they got it all together. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that you're on social cam, yes. speak, even your your uh, exercise journey. Yes, I, I would say, boy, he is brave putting it all on there. Yes. But how important is it for sometimes for us to look behind the stage or beyond the stage and know that hey, just I'm a real human and go. I have a real a life in Christ just like you. Yes, man. And, 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 and that's when it all started for me and it, it helped me because I had to let people don't listen, man. Hey, just because I be singing and I sung with men and standing and all that kind of stuff, that don't mean nothing. There are some things, man, that I deal with, man, that I didn't even want nobody to know I dealt with. You know? But I understand the healing process when you're able to talk about it openly. Mm -hmm. You're able to share it. You now, I battled with depression for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't like who I was and didn't like because I was a big guy and didn't think nobody would really care about me. But, man, I had, you had to get to a point where you said, you know what, God, you made me who I am. Even though I did right. some things and ate some things that I shouldn't have been eating, but even in the process of that, you still love me because I'm me. You still made me. I'm me. And if you don't like me and nobody else don't like me, it still don't matter because God loves me. And when you first start loving yourself, then people will start loving you because nobody can love you more better than you. You know what I'm saying? And so when right, I started right. doing that, I started feeling better. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care what nobody said. I was the finest big man in the world. And that's right. that approach. You know what I'm saying? But it all started again, Brother Larry. It all started when my mind began to change. Well, you know, how important is it to speak to yourself and then uh, decree and declare what you see and what God has said that you are? It's, it's very important. Because you know what, life and death lies within the power of the tongue. You you know if you speak if you speaking bad on your life, then that's what's going to happen. You got to speak positive, and so it's very important that you speak positive over your life. And I think that's what we need to tell people. You got to speak things into existence, man. You got to say, "I am great. I am." And it's not it's not that you're arrogant, but it's that that that, that you don't want to live in poverty. I don't know. I don't want to be broke. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I will not be broke. So once you start speaking those things and start speaking those things, then your mind begins to start saying, "Oh yeah, I saw. Okay, yeah, lo, I see where you're going now. I see. I, okay, right. you know." And it start adding up, and you start, and then God said, "Okay, see, I told you you was great. I couldn't do nothing for you until you saw it." 
You got to see right. it. And a lot of times we say, God, step on in, step on in and help us. And we don't want to do nothing. You know, we just want him to say, take control. And we don't want to go work out. We don't want to eat right. But we want him to help us lose these pounds. No, that's some things that you still got to do yourself. And when God sees you doing it, then God says, okay, now let me step on in. Because I am the greatest power. So I can change things like this. But I wanted to see how bad do he want it. Because I don't want to start doing anything if you're going to go back to your, keep going back to your always. And I think a lot of times we understand that God, God get tired of us. Son. He loves us. But do we ever think that God says, man, why do you keep coming to me for the same thing, the same thing? Have you not learned yet? I'm still going to bless you. But I still be wondering, why do you keep coming and running to me for the same thing when I gave you the answer? And you already know the answer. You're a believer. Right. So that's, that's where it good. is, man. Right. Talking to Lowell Pye today, the new CD is going to be titled Transformed. Uh, the current single, I love it. I, I want everybody to call your local radio station today, 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 and say, please play Lowell Pye perfect yes i believe it's going to be a tremendous blessing to you now we already said you're on social cam but are you on twitter and facebook you know and all the you other places know it, man. how can we find you please it's, y'all it's simple just twitter.com lowell pie uh facebook.com lowell pie social cam lowell pie everything everything is lowell pie i'm on there i follow back i talk i tweet and uh you know i'll be checking on my facebook i'm always talking you can always follow me on instagram lowell pie all that is just lowell pie you'll find me on there y'all hit me up i'm always on it i'm always chatting and talking and uh you know let's be friends and family just just talk about what we talk about amen <laughs> all right lowell pie do me a favor what if we do have someone listening to our conversation today and um they have a word that was spoken over their life but fear insecurities, low self-esteem, and those things are holding them back. What advice would you have for them today for them to break free? Well, uh, I give you the power of uh, the spirit of fear, the power of a sound mind. And so what, what, what you have to do really is just go to God and say, God, listen, help me. I'm ready for it. I know you called me to do it. I know I need to walk into it. But, Lord, I need your help. I can't do it by myself. That's one thing. You first thing you have to uh no, and I think uh, the second thing is what I always tell people: Listen, you 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 know what you've been called to do. It's time to do it. It's just time to mm-hmm. do it. People, I tell people all the time, brother Larry. People, there are people that are pe- depending on you. Whoever you are, whatever your name is, there are people that are dependent on you, and they watching you, and they can't even get to the next place in their life because they watching you. They they dependent on you. You are the God that they see. They, you know, they, you are the ones they believe in. So it's time for you to walk into the calling that God has called you into, and do what you've been called to do with power, with, 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 with you know what I'm saying. With, with mighty power and with the authority mm. that God has given you, and then you have to uh, do it. And don't worry about what folks say and what, what what's happening in your past. Don't that's going to help the ministry part of it, because right. you've been through something, and you can share with those who've been through the same things or similar things that you've been through. So come on, y'all, get focused. Know you've been called to do it. Know you get into your word to read the word. Let that word that, that word just help you and uh, know the uh, learn the business get great representation whatever you need to be doing you know what I'm saying whatever it is in singing whatever it is acting whatever it is that you've been called to to build God's kingdom let's do it it's time uh, to do it all right Lowell Pye it's always a pleasure to speak with you sir thank you so very much for sharing your gifts and your ministry with the listeners of gospelinterviews.com thank you so much man I appreciate you oh no problem You've been tuned in to Gospel Interviews Live, an unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed conversation about anything gospel. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. This broadcast was produced by TC for TC Productions. The music bed was provided by Angela Christie from her latest release, The Breath of Life. For more information about this particular broadcast, visit our official website at www.gospelinterviews.com. 